Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. On the bench today, we have the Milwaukee Fork Meter, model number 2207-20. This meter was released to the market uh, of t in 2010, and I'm sure probably if you can find one, you might have to look on one of the uh, channels out there. I mean, like AU eBay or um, Amazon. Uh, but anyway, this I, I'm, I'm kind of excited about doing this video because this is a one of a kind. I've never seen, I've never known this meter existed. I'm, some of you guys may have known about it. I didn't. Uh, but it's my first time seeing this meter. Never heard about it. I know uh, Milwaukee do have a few fork meters on the market, but I've never seen one that takes a, a M12 12 volt battery. Now, I mean, that's new to me. I haven't seen any other meet, uh, uh, meters on the market that takes a rechargeable 12-volt battery, okay? So this is all accessories that's go, that goes with it, except the two batteries up here. The batteries on the side, the ones that's in the charger, and the one inside the portable charger right there, they are uh, OEM batteries that I bought uh, when I got the meter. It had just the one original battery that's in it right now, the Milwaukee M12. But to buy an original battery, M12, Milwaukee wants, um, they want your wallet. Even if you buy the portable charger that's right here, they want your wallet also. So uh, it was cheaper for me to buy two OEM batteries that's for this uh, meter and a charger and come out on top. So that's what I've done. So, uh, but it worked just fine. It worked at, and three batteries is all I need. Even if I don't even, even I don't even know if I ever get a chance to use them, because the uh, it's not like you have the meter on all day using it all day where to drain the battery. That battery that's in there right now is fully charged, and it may last God knows how long before I even get a chance to uh, use the two on the side. Now. Before I get in, before I get into it even more, I'm going to ask you guys to support the channel. If this is if this is your first time viewing the channel, I'm asking for your support. You can do that by hitting the video. I mean, hitting the subscribe button, leaving a comment, uh, posting a question. You know, all that would be in support of uh, support of the uh, channel. I really ask you to, to subscribe for the channel. Right now, I'm trying to reach twenty thousand, and uh, you guys can help me do that. Uh, I'm speaking to all the tool lovers. Uh, I am an electrician by trade. I'm speaking to all the tool lovers, the, uh, my electrical brothers out there, my HVAC guys out there, whatever field that you win. If you like my channel, you know, because I do, I, I do love doing these videos. But if you like it and you want to support it, I really appreciate that uh, your support. Hit that subscribe button and share the channel also. But anyway, back to this video. I mean, back to this meter. This meter, this meter here. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say that it's for. HVAC guy, um, because I'm looking at the features on it. Let me just zoom in just a little bit closer to show you the features. It's more geared toward just an electrician. One second. I'm uh, according. I'm looking at the features, guys. And yeah, volts AC. Let me get closer. Okay, you have volts AC, volts DC, you have low Z, you have amps AC, you have resistance and continuity. That's geared toward, if you ask me, that's geared toward an electrician. Uh, if it were, I'm thinking toward a, uh, a HVAC guy, it would have had capacitance, you know, uh, milli microamps and things like that on it, but for sure capacitance. Uh, it's so it's, it, to me, it's just geared to an, for an electrician. It has, a, it has a nice screen on it. Uh, the meter itself is very durable. It's heavy duty. And um, have that OLED uh, display, which is very clear. No problem at all with the eight, with the, uh, the the resolution. The meter itself, as far as the casing and all, is in, uh, let me back out some. The meter itself, as far as the casing and all, that's all oh, heavy duty. Heavy duty. And like I said, the battery is an M12. 
uh, lithium ion uh, battery and ion battery and that's how I look down there. It's rated uh, cat cat for 600 volts, cat three 1,000 volts. I'm gonna turn it around for you guys just to get let you take a look and then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna. Uh, read what's on the user manuals just to give you an idea with this meter, uh, some of the specifications and what it's capable of doing. Okay, then we're going to some of the other things right here. Let me just, what's on the meter? It does have a, like a magnet on the back. That's really good. It's a really nice magnet and uh, it's heavy duty and it have no problem holding um, this meter. Now, if you look toward the bottom here, you see this little door that's open. The reason why I got it open because that's one of the things I don't like because, because when you shut it, it locks the battery in. And all the way to get the battery out, you need a, they tell you in the, on the use manual, you have to have a little screwdriver to place it on the side and kind of like pop it open. What I'm thinking about, what if I don't have a screwdriver? That means I can't, I can't get the battery out, especially if I'm on a job and I need to get that battery recharged. It wasn't thinking on that one. But other than if that's 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 one of the problems I find with it, maybe the only problem I'm thinking that I may find on on this meter. But other than that, uh, you see on the back. Let me hold on a second. You see back here on the the back, there was a place for the to hold your test leads, and that's really nice. They also have on the side here. Let me get the other side, then I'm gonna go all the way around. On this side, that's nothing. Okay, that's nothing, and. On this side, you have a, a, a work light. Let me, they have a work light and have a hold at the top. The work light, let me show you, is really bright. Okay, really bright work light. And Milwaukee, Milwaukee is known for that kind of stuff for us, the flashlights on their meter test instruments. Nice hold button. And uh, as I said before about the resolution on the, on the screen, it's really nice and clear. The, the font, nice and large that you can read it the battery charger those of you who had the, it's, a, it's like a quick charge because uh if you plug it in it won't take long to, to charge 12 volts you know to recharge 12 volts the same with this usb right here this charger that i bought works just fine it comes with this usb cable by milwaukee and uh you get this you get an adapter like this i don't have it so i you know you can find one of these around your house you also can use a regular usb cable Hold on, let me just get right so, so I can show you guys. Okay, here we go. Um, you see that this is a Milwaukee uh, USB cable that when you plug, you plug it on the top of here and you can use uh, like an adapter like this. Milwaukee sells one like this for this cable. I think it comes in a package deal alone by $20, $25. Um, I wouldn't want to buy that, you know. Uh, for that kind of money just to have a USB cable. It would fit just about any USB, not any USB cable. Um, let me just show you the front that it uses. I don't know uh, wh which one is this, what they call it, but it's a little smaller one than all the rest of them. They have something that's really square. Let me see. You guys can... Anyway, that's the, that's the more narrow one. They have the other one with the, with the large opening. It's not that one. It's the smaller one. The, the more narrow one, the tip, and the other end is real, is the same as any other USB. And uh, as far as the test leads, uh, that's Milwaukee. You know, they have some really, really nice test leads. They're, they're not that hard PVC type, but they are really nice. Uh, you won't complain about them when you get it. You you really won't. It won't. Now, I'm going to show you guys something about the battery. I was telling you earlier about the battery. If you were to get one of these meters and you were to buy one of these, uh, um, let me just show you here. On here, let me just zoom in close. Milwaukee have M12, and you can buy the generic brand. I don't know if you can see that. It says N12, okay, N12. But make sure when you buy it, you have those batteries on the bottom have different numbers. Like uh, one of the numbers on here, uh, I think it's like uh, 24, uh, 24, 68, 11, 24, something like that. But make sure you, you, you match the battery up 
with the battery, the generic battery that you're buying um, over, I mean, uh, online to make sure that you get the right thing. But uh, I come out really good. I think I did with this. Let me just back up a little, and I really want to show you guys. Uh, I'm taking a battery out, and I want to show you that it's no problem. Let me put, move this to the side, okay? And... Now, I was telling you, hold on a minute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to regular battery. And here, this is that button I was telling you about right here. I'm gonna just close it and show you what I'm talking about. Now, if I snap it, I can't, I can't pull that out. Okay, so I gotta get my screwdriver and I have to Oh shoot, let me see, can I use this flat? I hate this out. Hold on a minute, let me get my... Oh boy, take it. Okay. Okay. And you have to put it right here, and you have to just pop it out. You know, all the problem with that is, I'm thinking, why couldn't they just make a little snap in when you push the battery in? You know, it just snaps in. Okay, this is the Milwaukee battery. This is the over-the-counter battery right here I got. No problem. Oh, here we go. There we go. No problem at all. And it looks the same. If that, if you worried about looks or anything, just don't have the logo. The Milwaukee logo that's not a problem to me the only thing i want is the mat is the is the meter to work properly so i so i bought two of them two batteries along with that charger cost me about i want to say right at maybe 35 dollars whereas um this charger alone by milwaukee it was like 59 60 six sixty dollars i've seen them some of them for 89 dollars the battery itself, one battery was costing like $60 on eBay. No, no, no. Uh, but anyway, this is, and let me try something else. I want to take this out, and I want to, let me see where I'm going at with this to make sure I get it right. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you guys how it's looking in the inside, if I can get this sucker open. Now, this is another thing that I wanted to get off of here. I didn't see the... Man. Oh, I think it's... trying to get it to come out. Okay, I got it. So, let me see, can I give you guys a look in the back of it and just see how well this thing is put together, okay? I don't know to take, um, you know, take this stuff loose like this, but I'm going to do it this time because I'm curious about it myself. I have no doubt that it's, that it's built really nice, but you're going to see. Okay. So, guys, don't forget to uh, support the channel. Uh, I'm trying to get to 20,000. You know, what made me think about that? I was on YouTube the other day and I was looking at a video. I mean, looking at some videos and I'm not shaming over no other channels, but God dog, man, I've seen some videos I mean, <laughs> damn, and I was like, damn, if they can get that many people doing doing what they're doing, shit, man, my, my channel should be way up there. But guys, I'm just, I'm not calling on everybody, but just my electrical brothers out there. And uh, I really would like for you guys to uh, help support my channel, okay? So, uh... Okay. 
Okay, we're almost there. Six screws, I feel like more than that. See, I've never taken this a loose before, and I'm gonna to have to read the direction because they do have a manual on how to take it a loose. I, I wasn't planning on taking it loose, that's why I didn't read it. But um, I'm gonna wind up doing another video with this with, with, with this meter, comparing it to some other uh, high dollar fork meters that I have, and I'll I'll know much I'll know it better than how to take it apart. But until then, let me just uh, finish showing you guys how it looks and let's enjoy how it looks and uh it's, I'm talking about it. anyway anyway uh guys uh so this is this is my introduction this is my introduction uh for this 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 meter and this is a charger let me just tell you what let me what i want to do let me plug it up for you guys plug the charger up and plug the um one, two. Let me just do the. Okay. Let me show you how it looks with the. I do have I do have a power source. Close by. All right. First, let me just show you the charger. How it looks. How it lights up on the top. And then I'll show you, okay? And I'll show you everything else. As you see, this plugs into here. And this will plug into the top. To that's the that's the, now that's the the charger to um, the Milwaukee battery and it works just fine just to show you it works just fine and this one you know if you guys would decide to get one this is the the OEM battery right here and that works just fine I'm gonna plug that into the, um, into the outlet as well and I'll show you that that that's no problem so you don't you know you don't need to buy that Milwaukee battery with just a name on it paying all that money so let me see see the guy was lit up at it's charging no problem no problem at all now, what I'm going to do also, take this from here, remove that, and I'm going to show you just how well, how it lights up with the, when I take a voltage measurement, okay? Okay. Votes. I'm putting it in the mains right here, and guys, go on. Let me get you right so you can see it. There we go. One twenty-one. No problem. No problem at all. Man, this is a really nice meter. 
Really nice meter. Look how clear it is. Um, you know, that, um, also to tell you guys, I heard him say that. I mean, I heard him. I read when I said this has been discontinued, this meter. He asked me. I think he was a poor. I, I don't know why or why he told him, I mean, what made him discontinue it. But uh, you can't go wrong with these, with these batteries like this. You, have, you don't have to worry about batteries for a long time. And uh, it's, it's, it's just an all-around good meter. And then it also has it also have a, a non-voltage -volt contact uh, detector on here. I didn't tell you guys about that. So let me just show you that also. One second. Okay. One second. Let me show that to you. Sorry about moving the camera, man, but let me just show you. Okay. Um, Okay, now this is the battery that, I mean, uh, the charger for, uh, I don't know if you can see it, you see it light up right there, maybe can, maybe not, I'll tell you what, I'll bring it closer to this one, Move back up a little, okay, here we go. See it right here. I'm gonna move it away so it go off. See it back on again. Move it away. It went away. So it has a lot of features that I like, you know. And uh, I could see myself with a meter like this, and you know, with a meter like this, it'd be my everyday meter. Look, guys. Uh, I do want to do another video on this meter, and um, I do want to do a comparison with it. But I'm going to shut this video down, but I'm asking, don't forget to, to help support the channel. You can do that right now as you're looking at the video. Hit the subscribe button. Post a comment or a question. Hit the like button also. I'm trying to get to 20,000. Man, you can help me get there with your with your uh, subscription, uh, subscription, and it's for free. Thank you, guys. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.